For our spring season, we will be returning to New York City Center, where we were founded by Fiorella LaGuardia, the mayor of New York in 1943. The theater has been totally renovated. It looks beautiful, and it sounds great. And to inaugurate our new returning relationship with City Center, we're bringing two spectacular shows that I think will fill the house in an intense way. Our season at City Center opens with what is my favorite of Rossini's operas, Moses in Egypt. Now, when I say that, people think I've gone nuts, but it's full of love notes to Mozart. You can tell that Rossini was eating for breakfast the Mozart Requiem, Così fan tutte, and Haydn's creation. It tells, of course, the story of the Exodus, but in a very lean and compact way, full of spectacular stage effects. I turned to the one director I knew who could do things like part the Red Sea and show plagues of darkness, hail, and the pillars of fire, and that's Michael Counts. Michael is first a visual artist, and when we began to listen to the piece together and he started to respond as he does with sketching, I could see right away that he had found a way to tell this story uh, that matched the scale of the music, that matched the scale of the story itself. Part of Michael Counts' team on this show is the amazing Ada Whitney and her team at Beehive. And Ada is doing incredibly beautiful work, high definition rendering, and at the same time creating beautiful abstract pictures. There are some technologies we're bringing to the stage which will be seen, I think, for the very first time ever in New York on the operatic stage. The role of Moses itself is being sung by David Cushing, an incredible singer who has a rock solid low range. He really has to drop the bomb a few times, but at the same time sings an aria that sits at the top and above the staff. When he first walks on stage, he sings essentially the tuba mirum for the Mozart Requiem. We caught you, uh, Rossini. It's an amazing moment where he arpeggiates his way down to a low A flat. It's just a ride. From the moment the curtain goes up, you're inside the story. It's just an incredibly theatrical experience, and frankly, a great opera for a first-time opera. Girl.